Oh, shoot. Burp. Uh, okay, no, of course. All right, so yes, finally, finally, finally. So, of course, I'm back with another really quick, of course, of course, power. Oh, uh, talking about a video. And holy crap, yesterday, this came out actually yesterday for me. Uh, ooh. Sorry, I did actually just drink a big down Sprite right there. But yeah, we actually got some new news right here for Doken. Yesterday, literally, no one was even talking about this. Or, like, it wasn't trending or anything. It just kind of just, out of nowhere, like, I did not expect a part 2 LR. Crazy. But yeah, um, LR Omega, he's a thing now. He's actually a thing. So, I know, I'm still processing it in my head. Like, what the world is this? Like, what in the world literally is this? Like, I have no idea what the world is this today. It's just, it's so out there it's like it came out of nowhere so that's what's throwing me off so i'm just like okay everyone well, make us a thing but yeah they get it of course they're official they get a monado of course for all the info translations and everything i've not talked about him even caught over him yet but i'll try to blow the video when i can though like i said i've been low behind lately just because work and in general just it's just it's been an insane time for Doken right now because just it's busy it's crazy i'd expect so much news and stuff like that of course like this but yeah it's it's been a trip though, so yeah, definitely, 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 yeah, it's been one of these weeks for Doken right now, but yeah, of course, to go over him, get started, and talk about him and everything, of course, so it's not going to say more time, so he does GT Bosses, Key 3, all sets up 120, uh, GT Bosses, he does GT Bosses, Key 3, all sets up 120, no, he does GT Bosses, Key 3, all sets up 200%, nice, I like that, that's good, we need a new leader for that, it's 12 key, raises defense up for one turn, cost of damage, lowers attack, and high chance of stun. Zinti key raises defense up for one turn, mega cost of damage, and attack defense, lowers attack defense, and steals super attack. I think he's good enough for that. Alright, his passive. Uh, plays, oh, okay, he, has, he activates his intro animation. He just int type key spheres to rainbow. Of course, they go for seven turns, holy crap. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%, like the other Omegas. Uh, key 3 attack defense up 200%, kind of like how the physical Omega and STR one work. Attack plus one with separate for, with each attack performed up to max of one fifty. Uh, key one it reduces the damage received by five percent. Uh, per GT bosses category ally on the team. That's pretty much going to be. He's based around that team. Very similar to Super Seventeen. I think like he's had to be based around androids. Reduces damage received by seven percent per rainbow, rainbow keys for attain if um, HP is fifty percent or less. So if a character is attacking turn revives. Uh, with 70% HP recovered when this character or, or an ally attacking the same turn is KO'd. Okay, so he has a revive, revive as usual. Only once, uh, effective against all types and performs additional super attacks starting from the turn in which his character revival skill is active. His active skill is minus energy power. Minus energy power ball can be activated from the, sorry, for the third turn from the start of battle. If the target is to attack or defend down status, I mean, I always hate that anyway, though, so, uh, Good luck with that. I mean, some you, some stages you can, but other stages you, you're you not going to see that because you can't lower attack and defense anymore unless you can do that now in the red zone. And if it, in Shadow Dragon Saga event, like we've been talking about history or whatever, down or can be activated from the sixth turn from the start of battle only once. Good luck, you're not going to see that. Temporarily greatly raises attack, ultimate damage to um, ultimate damage and attack defense, but is oh, excuse me, 30% for one turn, disables enemies' actions um, once um, within the turn. He feels like more of a broken mess of a. Uh, uh, he feels like more of a broken mess of. Um, like he's very similar to like the anniversary LRs. He feels like the opposite. Yeah, he feels like an anti anniversary unit. It's like the opposite of Goku and Vegeta from the anniversary for GT. Is he supposed to be that? Because technically, I feel like he is. Because, you know, they um have support for a whole lot of GT support too for them though. So that's gonna be crazy for that. But yeah, though, I'm just kind of thinking about it, going over it, though. I mean, he's good. Like I said, it's not, he doesn't feel, like, broken, but I feel like he can, like, be passable. I don't know. I feel like he's broken, but I feel like he's also missing something. I feel like that's been a problem. Like, eight, like physical Raditz had that. Don't confess, Raditz had that problem. And Turtles had that problem. I just feel like they always are missing something for the villain units. Like, heroes are always discussing attack defense, stack that up, whatever, whatever, whatever. But also, it's like, um... I feel like they're also missing something too, so it's just like, okay, you could feel like you could put something there, maybe, but it's also like, you know, I don't know, he, he feels good, like, he feels like a really good unit, again, I've been so used to reading these guys now, I'm like, oh my god, he's broken, but, I don't know, I feel like he's a pretty good unit, though, honestly, though, he feels like opposite anti-anniversary unit, though, I do want to see his damage output, though. The problem with the GT villains is that their links, they're, I mean, they're all going to link well together. GT, uh, GT bosses, the category and everything, and I, the links are very, very similar. But yeah, like I said, we do need just a free-to-play Shadow Dragons team. Like, it's, they could have done that this, they could have at least done that this, um, 
during the celebration. Like, it wasn't really that hard. I mean, I know they gave us, like, a whole bunch of GTE VAs, but it's also, like, from the Super 17 saga, but it's also, like, we still need, like, on a new story event for Omega or something like that. I think he actually does start as Omega. I believe so. I think he just starts out as Omega the whole way through. So, I'm just like, okay. Oh, yeah, his links. Um, Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, GT, Fear and Faith, Shadow Dragons, Fierce Battle, Enjoy Power, of course, all the G typical GT links. Categories are Shadow Dragons, Saga, Full Power, and Human Deeds. He's going to be going these categories, though. Power, Absorption, GT Bosses, Battle of Fate. Again, they want to mainly use them with GT Bosses, but on another team, team probably going to be really good. Transformation Boost, Power of Wishes, and Battle of Fate um, for the rest of the categories. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like he has some... Potential. I feel like he is missing something though. I don't know. Maybe like I'm not saying damage reduction or like tanking or whatever. I feel like some type of a defense. But no, he has attacking defense. Never mind. But I feel like he's just probably gonna be like a just attacking unit, very similar to like you know, like Jiren and you know not like Jiren though because Jiren's just a power wall. That's pretty much what he does. Just pure damage. That's why I kind of was like, yeah, I did my Jiren, but also like, eh, I mean, whatever's on Italy though. So yeah. But I don't know. I just kind of feel like that. I just feel like that for this unit, though. I'm just like, hmm, like you could have just, you know, um, maybe added something a little bit more. But I don't know. The mega feels pretty broken to me, though. Like changing key again. I know it's a typical thing. I changing key spheres. You know, getting sort of them out. You know, nuking arrow. We're back in that again. I don't know. I mean, I feel like for I don't know. I mean, he put bomb mode. No, because he had to nuke around the key spheres. Whichever unit I fuck just been doing that nowadays. I don't know, because I saw Goku, he was disgusting. When I see Omega, I'm like, I feel like he is missing something. Like, he's good, but I just feel like he's maybe missing something under his, like, radar or something like that. Because he does a lot already with his passive everything. He's already good, but also, like, man, I just feel like he really is just missing something, honestly, though. But yeah, though, like, it's crazy to think about that. Like, I'm just like, I feel like he is missing something, though. So it's like, ah, eh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. He feels good though. He feels like he feels broken, but I feel like he is missing something. Can you guys see me figure out what EZA is like? It's our guy Goku. That was pretty good, but now he's disgusting. Um, then goes for the one too. Like they're both pretty good, but like I said, I think as time goes on, the more teams, the more units we're gonna get. Omega will probably will be better because again, I said Nova again. They just suck at this point. We're joking. They just I looked at them. They're nothing crazy. I don't even care anymore. So yeah, it's just that like. Shell Dragons really just need help, or, I mean, on GT Bosses, like I said, you have, like, Metal Rodo, the, uh, for him, he's a good Awakening unit, Oceanus, um, Super 17, probably not, though, honestly, um, Omega, like I said, himself, the SCR one, the, um, Incent, the Texan one, um, again, he, he does have help, like, the, um, full power, um, the, uh, the SCR full power support, the, um, physical one for his easy, yeah, he's okay, he could probably maybe help out, but, Again, he does have very little support for GC bosses, though. But on other teams like Battle of Fate, maybe, or um, on other, or um, um, or maybe like full power. I feel like he can shine the most. Inhuman Deeds probably can be really good. Power absorption. I wish Shadow Dragon Saga again. GT bosses are gonna be kind of blending in together for a little bit, though. I mean, he could be help. He could be useful in the Goku and Vegeta category. <coughs> uh, but like on the on the um on the um what was it? Um, Shadow Dragon Saga, because you know, they're going to be probably good together. Which is about Sam Saki is in the Shadow Dragon Saga leader, but we already got some, so I don't need to really explain the code for that, though. I don't know, fucking Mega is kind of missing something, though. He already feels disgusting and broken, though. Oh, yeah, Baby Guy's easy. I should know that. That's cool. I got to go over that later. Um, and actually, I'll put, I'll put it with the easy, I have the EZA video in here. Yeah, I have it right there. I have the EZA video ready to go. Um, I got to get that, um, done later, though. But yeah, honestly though, I don't know. I feel like Mega is missing something though. He he already feels disgusting and broken, but I feel like he is kind of like, like I know I saw Goku. I was like, man, I'm so shocked and surprised. He's so freaking good. But it's also like, with Omega, it's like I feel like he is missing something. All these villain units feel like they're missing something. Like maybe like a, I don't know. I just I feel like I can't put my finger on it though. He's again like I said, orb changing, getting himself attacking defense, get him tanking, um, him on different category teams, him reviving. Again, the revival's kind of just less, 70%. Yeah, good luck with that. And being a nuker, like, again, it's going to be really good. Again, the Rainbow Keys are a tying thing. Again, so many Jews do Rainbow Keys for nowadays, so I don't really go over that. I don't know. I just feel like it's just... I, I don't know. He feels good, though. He, he feels... I want to say he feels disgusting, but... Again, I got to see him on paper, though. Like, I got to see what he can do. Because we know Super 17 kind of did. I mean, for GT, though, like I said, 
They did go for the heroes, and the villains kind of like, just lately, I feel like they just got lost their motivation with some of the villain units, in my opinion, anyway, though. Again, they feel good, though, but it's like, man, I feel like they could add something there, or just do something better. Maybe, I don't know. It's just that, man, like, I wish something would just change, maybe, or just something a little extra. Because, I mean, he already, he's already reviving. For the revival units, I feel like they just kind of, like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, I just go there and revive. Let's hold them back a little bit. I mean, villains go out, give them a lot of attack and defense. Give them, like, 600 defense, 600 attack. We see them do it before with Kid Goku and everything. All that just goes, like, all the different, like, revives and everything. I don't know, just go all out for these guys sometimes. I get you don't want to make them broken, even though Super Saiyan 4 for Power Goku is disgusting. Um, probably the best unit in the game still. Well, see, yeah, I, I, I just say he's the best unit in the game. I just say that, I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm going with that. He's the best unit in the game. Don't at me. They'll be like, oh, hypersonic. Oh my gosh, you said this in the video. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to kind of cover and go over the, uh, today for Omega. But yeah, I mean, hey, the boy's finally an LR. But like I said, he is disgusting. He is strong. He is powerful. He could do a lot, though, but I do need to see what he can do, though. I want to see, I need to see him on some good teams. Or other teams or something, because I just feel like he's missing something, and I just, the villain units always feel like they have a hole in them, and I just, I really need to, like, feel him destroy the planet, or cook, or something, man. The people are not cooking hard! But yeah, thank you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. I'll go check in the video. Make sure you watch in the comments. All of you, going out, put it on my mat, so I'm so happy for you. So give back if you can. Go outside, tell them guys, I'm copy them. So my friends, Discord, so if you're aware, guys are awesome. What you guys think about is a little info, of course, like, hate it again. Very simple, very easy, like I said, up today. Of course, but yeah. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. I'm just hyped. See you guys later, though, again, though. Peace out. Uh -oh.